Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do the note carding method. I will go over this in class, but I'm also providing this for you if you're working at home and you just forgot how to do it. So what I'm doing is I took the, the tattoo aftercare article that we hugged on Wednesday and I put it into a scratch outline. So here is the scratch outline. This is also available to you. If you turn to page six on the packet that I handed you guys on Tuesday. So the first thing I did is this would be like main point number one, uh, excuse me, sub point. So this is a topic sentence that I would have for my first paragraph. When a person gets a new tattoo, there are certain important aftercare steps to ensure its quality. And then I would have my sub point, my evidence, and my analysis. And then I would have my second sub point, my evidence, and my analysis. And then my third subpoint, evidence and analysis. And you'll notice this looks really similar to the Magic 11 work that we've been doing with our previous uh, paper that we wrote and what we'll be doing with this research paper as well. So when I'm looking at this, the information that I want to find out of the tattoo article would relate to when a person gets a new tattoo, there are certain important steps to ensure its quality. So when I note card something, I would look at my article, and here's the article that looks awfully similar to what we did on Wednesday. And then I would find information that I could put onto note cards. And the information I want to put on note cards would be this information that I got into my own words that I would put on the note card because I don't want to plagiarize, and I want to make sure that I'm using my own words on the note cards that I'm creating. So some of you may have done note cards before, but many of you probably haven't. And it's a great way to uh, do all of your organization when you're writing a paper because it's tactile and it's something you can physically move to see the uh, organization of your paper. So what I did is I created a paper-based format of what a note card would look like in Microsoft Word. So your note cards on the top left-hand side would have the topic it fits into. Does it fit into Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, or Roman numeral three? And you can go one step more. Does it fit into Roman numeral subpoint A or B or C? Does it fit into Roman numeral two point A, B, or C, or Roman numeral three point A, B, and C? This is just an example of what it would look like. Then in the upper right hand side, you want to put the source number. So what we had done is take, we've taken all of our articles and we just wrote a number up in the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for example. That way it's really easy for you to be like, oh, this note card comes from the article about tattoo aftercare because I wrote a number one over here and somewhere on the tattoo aftercare article, I would have also written a number one. Then I don't have to spend so much time writing out all of the information when I could just put an easy number there. On the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to put the page number and the paragraph number I found it out of so that when I go back and I have to do my citation in Noodle Tools, I already have that right there for me. And to make this one step easier on the back of your note card, we're going to have you guys write your analysis so it's all right there ready for you to go. And then in the big chunk of writing, that is where you actually put the information that you found from your research. So what would this look like when I actually create a note card? Let's find out. So I have a semi-blank analysis or a semi-blank card up here. So my topic, remember, when I look at my sheet, is when a person gets a new tattoo, there are certain important aftercare steps to ensure its quality. My first idea when I look at my scratch outline was what to do when you were in swimming pools or hot tubs. So I would label this topic 1A, and I'm using Roman numerals and then lowercase alphabetical letters. And the source I found it off of, I just labeled this source number one, but you might have a different source number. And then when I open up my tattoo article, I'm going to find information that was about bathing, showering, hot tubs, and swimming. And I find that here. And what I'm going to do is count how many paragraphs down it is and you can do this ahead of time by 
uh, writing numbers over in the column if that helps you out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Paragraph nine, and I'm gonna put it as on page one. However, there's gonna be a little bit of discrepancy because this might not really be page one if this came out of a peer-reviewed journal or a scholarly article. And I will touch base with you guys on that more in class. However, for this assignment, I will, or for this example, I'll just put a one there and paragraph nine. And now I'm ready to get in my information about swimming care or swimming and bathing care with a tattoo. So I'm looking at this, and normally most of you guys already would have put this into your own words, but I'll just quickly reread re it so I have an idea of what I had hugged earlier. So now that I have reread re this and it's fresh in my memory, I go back to my outline, or excuse me, my note card, and I re-put this into its own words. I can't spell. So here's the information that I found out of the article, and I'll just do a cross screen so you can see both at the same time. And then on the back of my note card, I would write my analysis, and I'll just do that here on the bottom of this, and I'll just copy and paste the text box. So my analysis, remember, is why is that important information? Why did we need to care about that? So I just, on the back of my note card, I would write the answer to why it is important, my computer is not letting me, why it's important that we keep our tattoos be, from being submerged in water. And here's what I came up with. This is my own ideas. I didn't, um, I didn't read it anywhere. I just took what I learned and I made sure that I analyzed why that was important. And I answered, why do we care? And how will this affect the tattoo in the long run? And that is how you do a note card. If you have any questions, make sure you come and find me. I will also post this example on the SharePoint website.